a masterpiece from the Iranga and Sarans. Very, very interesting specimen. Now, first of all, we've got a, a matrix of a bit of feldspar with these shell tourmalines on it. A little bit of a, a, a fracture through this one shell tourmaline crystal. Hardly noticeable. I actually first noticed it on the still picture. Then you have these tiny aquamarine crystals sitting on here. Very, very interesting crystal face. As you see, the angle down the sides. Uh, a bluishness. Then you have quartz crystals, smoky quartz, as one would expect from the Eronga and Sarans. And uh, the particular one which comes to mind on the still picture, I took this angle. Just zoom in on that. And it seems like it's a quartz crystal which has been coated by some uh, 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 iron or hematite, uh, maybe turning into girtha to an extent. Uh, so what we have here is aquamarine, uh, shawl tourmaline, and uh, and quartz with some girthite. Now, in effect, the aquamarine also, I mean, the, the, the shawl tourmaline always just has this amazing bling bling to it. Now, we also look for the Ben star. Now, at certain angles, if you look past this aquamarine crystal, you'll see the little bends on that, on the face of the tourmaline there, or perhaps there is even better. And shawl tourmaline, of course, is the black variety of tourmaline. All the way from the Iranga and Saran, just outside uh, Usakos in uh, Namibia, you have this, this mountain and this is where these guys hail from.